What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jazzy Leno, and I'm here with my first video telling you guys how to start your very own lash business. So, I started my business, um, well, it formulated into my mind on November 9th, and I went into business December 23rd. So, I just want to give you guys some of my tips on how to start a lash business, what you have to do, how it's going to go, how my journey went, and it's kind of like a story time mixed with a how-to video, so I hope you guys keep on watching. So, the first thing you want to do is get you a journal and a pen and start formulating your idea. So, you already have the idea that you want to start a lash business, whether that be mink lashes, human hair, synthetic, 18mm, 25mm, whatever it is, you got it. You can do it if you put the work in. First thing first is get your pen, get your paper. Do that and keep writing. Write down everything. Write down how much you want to spend. Write down what you want to buy. Write down uh, when you want to buy it, when you want to drop, when you want to do this, when you want to do that. Just write down all your ideas that you want to do, how you're going to do it, and I promise you, you're going to get to it because you're going to keep seeing that, that pad and that pen, and you're going to keep formulating ideas, and it's going to keep you up at night. If you really want to do something, it, it burns inside of you, and you just want to let it out so you don't explode. Because that's what happened to me. First thing first, when starting the lash business, research. You need to research. You need to know what kind of lashes you want to sell. Or research what kind of lashes is hot, popping. Research that. You need to know what's popping, what's hot, what's not. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because some people might think that's popping, so I'm not going to say that. Second thing you need to do, find your own vendor. This is key. Finding your own vendor. This means you're not asking anyone for their vendor. You're getting your own vendor because you are self-sufficient. Everybody can be self-sufficient. I think it's very rude when people ask people, who's your vendor? Where'd you get this from? Where'd you get that from? Without doing the research because that's what I had to do. Guys, please don't ask people for their direct vendors. I think that's very rude. I think that's just not tasteful. I think it's kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of stepping on people's toes a bit. But if you do your research, go on any wholesale website, wholesale big websites where you get things for dirt cheap and then you sell them for high price. <laughs> no, not high price, but you know, you make a profit or whatever. So you're doing your search of your vendors. You need to go on your search filters and figure out where you want the lashes to come from. So realistically speaking, all lashes come from China, some Vietnam, some India. Didn't really see any in the U.S., like, no U.S. vendor. And if I did, they were, like, high price. They were, like, $6 per lap. I wouldn't do that, but I'm not talking numbers this video just because I want people to actually do their research. And So, yeah, filter your vendors. Find a vendor. Number three. Is this three? Try white. No, but get some samples. Get some samples of what lashes that you think you're going to sell. So... I went to three vendors and I got two samples of two lashes from each. I got six samples of lashes from three different companies. Does that make sense? Two, three, six. And you want to test the lashes out. You want to make sure that you test them with different glues. You want to test them with different um, lash tools. You want to test them cleaning them. You want to test them maintaining them. You want to test them pulling them off, putting them on. You want to just test your lash because this is what's going to have your name on it and it's what you're going to be selling. So you want to do that. When you get the samples, you do have to pay for them. You have to pay the wholesale price or whatever. And then they send you the samples, whatever. And you do have to pay shipping, unfortunately, which I don't get why I have to pay that much shipping if I'm only getting two lashes. But that's a whole different thing for a different story. And just test them out. I tested mine out for like a week and a half, maybe, and per day or whatever. And I seen which ones were yes and which ones were trash so you have to decipher between the two or whatever but please do samples because if you just go in there and just start selling stuff you're not they're gonna know what the hell you're doing you're not gonna know what's going on you're not gonna know how it works how it doesn't work and also you want to sample your lashes because for instance hopefully not but you get a customer complaint and they're saying that the lash did not uphold to the standard that it's supposed to you want to be able to decipher, okay, what went wrong? What glue did you use? Did you use hair glue or did you use duo glue? Did you pull the lash off roughly or did you do it in a way that was going to manipulate the lash? Just things like that. I'm not going to get too much into that. Thing is, 
Order your lashes. Price and order your lashes. So after you have decided and you've ordered your lashes, I want to inform you guys to make a contract with the people that you buy your lashes from. Keep in mind that we are a small business, but we're not going to think small. We're not going to let other people know the status of our business. So we're not going to act small. We're going to act like we're a Fortune 500 company because that's what we plan to be. So I, I got on um, Google and I looked up um contract templates just basic you give me i give you this is our agreement that's that i looked up those kind of contracts the person that was on the wholesale the wholesaler doesn't know the status of my business and i'm not going to disclose the status of my business by making mediocre mistakes by doing mediocre things so we're not going to do that so i formulated a contract basically saying you're going to give me this this and this for this price on this day or you'll get sued period so they sent me an invoice so i said well why i can't send nothing back or whatever to make cover my butt cover my booty so i did i sent them that and they signed it and they sent it back they e-signed it you know the docusign they did that or whatever and i my contract whatever so i'm like okay jazz like you really making boss moves you got them to sign something for you so you 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 know you need to keep thinking big baby we thinking big because why baby we're broke currently at the time i was only working a part-time job i didn't have little to no money i needed to secure my coins like i'm really frugal jeez and i am not just gonna be shucking out money to you and then i get scammed we're not getting scammed we're not getting scammed 2019 no scammers we're not doing that i was like okay i'm in business i'm really that girl so then i was like okay i got my lashes i need to get some boxes and i need to get a logo so i hooked up with this dude from um twitter amazing dude i'll link his um twitter down below so you guys can see him or whatever but he did my logo he did exactly what i wanted i told him what i wanted he delivered it he gave me proofs he was very like personable welcoming he did that and he's a really talented guy he just graduated from school he's really talented i went back on the wholesaler site to get my boxes I knew that i wanted magnetic boxes and i knew what color scheme i wanted them to be so hold on let me show you guys my box these are my boxes Yes, Butterfly Blinks, that is my lash business. These are my magnetic boxes. They're magnetic. They're just um, white with green glitter. And on the inside, it says, morphing you into beauty one blink at a time. But anyways, yeah, I came with these boxes. And these boxes were fairly cheap to make or whatever. I just put my logo, got the green, and... I got exactly what I wanted. Now, my mistake with these boxes, I did not um I did not sample these boxes first, which nothing's wrong with my boxes. They're all functioning, but in case they wouldn't have been, that would have been on me because I didn't take the time out to sample my boxes because I just wanted to rush my product. But it turned out for the best, so I knew it was meant to be. So, I got these boxes. Okay. Don't attack me. I got these. They're just a rectangular box. This little thing comes in there in the little boxes too. So it's just this rectangular box. Magnetic clothes. Those are fairly cheap. But yeah, back to if you have the time, please sample your boxes because you might not go through a vendor so trustworthy as I did. And you might, you know, have we got our lashes. We got our boxes. We got our logo. Now. I am a person who does personal research. I'm like, okay, everybody's getting these LLCs. I'm not going to get too much into what LLC means because I am not. That is not my favorite. But I'm going to tell you guys, get you an LLC. It's really cheap. I really don't know what it's used for, but I know that can't nobody steal your shit. So just get you that. Get, get that. Now, trademarks, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole $500, $400, $400 that I don't have because why? <laughs> Baby, I'm broke. Once again, do your business in any way that you can. Get you an LLC. That's it. Don't ask me no questions about the LLC because I don't know. Period. But, yes, yeah, so you got your boxes. Rewind. You got an idea. You got the drive. You got your lashes. You got your boxes. You got your logo. You got your LLC. What's next? 
you need to have somewhere to sell your lashes. You need to decide if you're going to sell your lashes on hand or online. Me, I chose to do both. But I chose to do both in moderation because I didn't know if I wanted to sell on hand, being that I'm selling out of my house. So I was only doing on hand with people, you know, that I was familiar with, people that I knew. I wasn't really bringing people to my house, people that I was like, Hold on. I don't know you. I was like, you don't have the, the website drop, which it dropped on the tw December 23rd. So that was that. So I decided to go with Big Cartel. Big Cartel was the one that caught my eye. I didn't really like Shopify, but to each his own, if you like that, you just play around and see which ones you like, which ones you want to go through. So I like Big Cartel because first month was free. And also it was free if you had five products, which I had exactly five styles of lashes. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with them, but I'm not going to activate my account until closer to my release date because I don't want my month free to go to waste. Because once again, baby, I'm broke. I don't have money like that to be spending on you know $9.99 $17.99 per month when I haven't even accumulated any sales so I'm like okay so I got them and they got on there you know if you go on Big Cartel and you want to set up an account you just set up your account with an email you can customize your things or whatever add pictures add your product price your product add your social medias and they give you a link or whatever so this is your link where people can come buy your product so you get that all together. Um, I would recommend Big Cartel. They have been pretty good to me. They take PayPal and Stripe as their payment methods. So that's pretty good because most people want to pay with PayPal if they don't really know your business like that. So set up a PayPal account, like a business account. Yes, they take a fee, but then again, that secures you. That's another thing that secures you as well. I'm not going to get too much into the, like, the payment methods. That would just have to be like a trial and error thing. It's just different for different people and I don't want to get too much into that. But I would say make a PayPal account for your business and link it to a card. Have an account with it that you can have all your business funds go there. So I will say that. So at, after Big Cartel, I was like, okay, Jazz, you got everything together. You got your stuff right. I want to take some pictures for my Big Cartel. So that's what I did. I'm letting you guys know this uh, ahead of time. I eventually upgraded to a GoDaddy uh, account where I get my own personal domain, but that still goes through Big Cartel. So people will go to my GoDaddy account and then when they want to click and shop on a product, then they'll take them back to the Big Cartel. So it's just like a appearance thing for me. I'd rather have my domain in the search bar than Big Cartel, but it's nothing wrong with the Big Cartel. People will still click on that and shop if they're going to shop with you. So don't get discouraged by that. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did upgrade to my own domain. I wanted to come up with this theme. I wanted to do things. I wanted my friends to be involved. I wanted to try it on the, the lashes on them. So I gave them each a free pair of lashes. And then I did a pair on myself. Mind you guys, I'm broke. So I don't have a camera. I didn't have a camera at the time. So, well, I still don't. I didn't have a camera. So I was like, okay, I need somebody to take my pictures. So I'm thinking, like, who can I get to take my pictures? And my aunt in Chicago, she um comes down every weekend. She has a camera because she took my prom pictures or whatever so i was like okay let me ask her whatever she told me that she can do it as soon as i asked i was so excited that i didn't have to spend any money because baby i'm broke once again i am broke so i was so excited i didn't have to spend any money then i got bad news she texted me and she was like sorry jazz i'm not gonna be able to come into town this week because i have the flu well i was so let down and i started to get so discouraged and i was like okay forget this whole thing bump this i'm out like i am out like period i'm done this is it i was just so defeated but then i was like okay jazz you need to start making other arrangements i don't know why i tried this because once again i was broke Still broke, currently broke. So I called this camera company in St. Louis and at, they do camera rentals. So I'm like, hi, I want to shoot, um, you know, just a photo shoot at home. I'm going to do it in my basement. I was just calling to see how much it would be to rent a camera for the day. And the man said, for the day? And I said, yes, I need the camera for a day. He was like, um, anywhere from 1000 to 1500 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I won't be going with you. Thanks. So he was like, uh, and it was that awkward silence. Like, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like, I don't know if he heard it in my voice or what, but baby, I'm broke. So that was a no. So I remember my friend, shout out to Jalissa, her dad has a business and he does like photography for his club or whatever. So he has photo equipment. So I was like, okay, Julius, ask your dad, can I use his equipment so we can shoot our own pictures or whatever? Cause at this point I'm not gonna hire anybody because in my mind I was gonna do it for free. So I need to uh, utilize all the free ideas that I have, all the free uh, options that I can get, I need to utilize because I don't have any money to pay for a photo shoot. So I was like, okay. She was like, her dad said, yes. I, I was so happy and grateful. Like my gratitude was just like at an all time high. And that just shows you like, don't stop because you don't have the money. You, you use what you have to get what you want. Yes, do that. So utilize all your resources, utilize all your resources and do what you can. So it was a day of the photo shoot. And mind you, I had to do it hair and makeup for everybody so luckily Jalissa's hair was already pressed out and more it was natural so I didn't have to do anybody's hair but my own but I did have to do the makeup now if you know me you know that I don't enjoy doing I mean I'm not gonna say I don't enjoy I don't like the pressure of doing other people's makeup because it just makes my anxiety go through the roof um because I get nervous about how I'm gonna make somebody look because I don't want to make somebody look a mess so I really want to make them look right I need to do all that I can to make sure that they look really good. So I did. I took like an hour, 15 minutes on their faces, which was kind of long, but we were shooting our own pictures. So I didn't really have a time limit or anything. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I did that. Had to go get a damn backdrop downstairs. But yeah, it's like brick, new brick um, and granite. So it's like stone. So it's not like a sleek background that would be good for a photo shoot so i'm like damn so i'm getting on amazon prime at the time because i i got their free subscription until the time to cancel that shit so i got that so then i was like okay let me go in here and see backdrops so i'm looking i'm like white backdrop type in white backdrop for a uh, photo shoot it's yeah this came up 77 dollars <laughs> i said baby who do y'all think i am like, I'm not paying $77 for a white piece of paper. I'm just not doing it. So, <laughs> my ass went to Walmart and I got this raggedy piece of cloth. Like, people used to, like, do clothes, I guess. So, I got this raggedy piece of cloth. This shit looked like terry cloth. It felt like a fucking Brillo pad. That shit was so fucking trash but i got it and i i used it for the photo shoot or whatever like some fake snow and all all that kind of stuff i get that and the photo shoot turned out actually really really good um i love my friends so much they did a photo shoot with me we did it together my sister helped out everybody helped out everybody was a great help and i did that so let's line it up what i have i got my idea i got my drive i got my lashes i got my boxes i got my logo i got my llc i got my shopping website i got my pictures so i have everything the last thing that i needed to do was promote my product i promoted my products on instagram snapchat twitter and facebook those are the four social medias that i know but if you know of any other ones that you can put your product on i guarantee you you should do that. You are your own product. You are your brand. So you want to promote yourself at any cost, doing whatever you can. Hold on. Not at any cost. Do not pay nobody for promo because you haven't made any money yet. Because baby, what? We are broke. Keep acting like that. But you need to act broke, but not stay broke. That's the thing. Act broke, don't stay broke. That's the motto. Act broke, don't stay broke. All 2019 poster um lashes or whatever it is that you sell and keep posting it like three to five times a day i recommend on, on all outlets that includes your stories and your page so facebook story facebook page instagram story instagram page snapchat twitter so i would do that and don't worry about what other people are going to think because that was one of my things. I was like, man, people don't want to keep seeing this shit all the time. Like, people don't want to keep seeing butterflies-blinks.com on their timeline every day. Do not worry about other people's opinions of your success. Like, people 
are going to uh, unfollow you because you're posting too much, but you can't worry about that. And, but people are also going to click on the profile, click on your Instagram, your business Instagram page. They're going to click on your link to see what it is you sell, what you're doing. Just being nosy because that's how people are. It's not going to start off good. It's not going to start off easy. You're not going to start off getting thousands and thousands of orders. But you have to have keep that drive and you have to know that something greater is coming for you. So that's all that I say. Know that your transformation has just begun. Know that you're morphing each and every day. Know that you're just wrapping yourself in your cocoon. Just wrapping, just wrapping, just wrapping. And then one day you're just going to bust out and you're going to be this butterfly. And you're going to be so freaking big and nobody going to be able to take it. And they're going to be like, damn, she just got flying out of nowhere. And you're going to be like, yeah, I did. So that's what I tell you guys to do. So... You got everything done. So, oh, another thing. This is a key factor. Please, guys, please listen to me when I say when promoting your business and posting your videos or your pictures or whatever, please, please, please do not use the videos or the pictures that your wholesaler um, sent to you for like your like to confirm your proofs and everything or that they put on their page. Do not do that. Somebody told me that and I'm telling you guys that do not do that. Do not put your wholesaler videos or pictures online because somebody will be able to Google drop those pictures or videos and see exactly who you got your lashes from or whatever you get from. Uh, it's just bad for business. Don't do that. Somebody told me that and I hurried up and I snatched that shit down because I do not want nobody to play with my coins because why? Baby, I'm broke. That's all I got for you guys. Um, if you want to know like how I ship online orders and everything, just let me know. I thank you guys for uh, transforming with me each and every time you watch my videos. I got more videos coming for you guys. I just hope that I was just a, a shining light for you guys. I just hope that I inspired you guys. And I promise that you guys will one day be a beautiful butterfly. And you're going to morph into something so big it's just gonna blow your freaking mind so just stay positive stay humble keep that drive dream big remember all these steps and launch your business just do it don't worry about the negativity don't worry about the hate don't worry about anything when doing your own business whatever is affordable to you that you want to spend for your business you spend it don't let anybody tell you oh that's too much that's not affordable affordable and entrepreneurship is what you can afford and what you think will hold value to you and your business so i just want to share that with you guys i thank you guys for watching my channel um i'm new on this journey so come transform with me each and every thursday and saturday i promise i got things coming for you guys vlogs makeup tutorials get ready with me story times maybe i just want to tell you guys that i'm here to help you guys and i hope you guys help me on my journey and i appreciate you for morphing with me and transforming stay beautiful bye